Hello and welcome to our repeatable vehicle presentation. This project is part of the 2021 iMakey Design Challenge, which is to create a repeatable vehicle. The latter should uh, travel in a straight line to a wall with which it makes contact and then return to as near as possible to what we call the bullseye target as presented in the image. Some key regulations are listed here and our team has set specific goals so as to claim success, like being in the closest circle to the center, do the runs in under 90 seconds and use a switch to reverse the rotation of the motor. Our vehicle will have a rear wheel drive system as shown here. A pulley system with a ratio of 1 to 137 was added to bring the RPM up to 34.25. The chosen motor provided a close output rate to the desired values for the wheels, and so minimal gearing is required. Distance is measured mechanically by moving tape from a reel onto an empty reel. When the car reverses, the tape then travels back until it runs out. This causes the motor to stall and the car to stop at the point where it began from. After consideration and physical testing to check the validity of our idea, we chose to use a cassette tape rather than building our own reels, as a cassette fulfilled all of our requirements. The alignment of the car is done utilizing a laser, which indicates where the car will impact the well. Its angle can be calibrated as scanty axles. This will facilitate more precise runs with reduced deviation. In order to bring the vehicle back from the wall, we decided on switching the polarity of the motor. This will be done by using a DPDT type button switch located in the front of our model, which will be activated once the vehicle collides with the wall. The collision won't cause any damage to the switch as our team determined that it can withstand the force of over 40 newtons, far greater than the calculated 3.75 newtons from the collision. When designing the vehicle, we consider the fact that in reality, the vehicle will not perform exactly as it does in our virtual models. Therefore, it was vital for our CAD model to accommodate this. One of these features was the use of pulleys rather than gears, as changing ratios is easier with pulleys than gears, allowing for the physical model to be adjusted to improve performance. Another example of this is using part thicknesses that are suitable for the material and method of manufacture. The CAD model allows us to validate certain features of our design, including the total size the final car will be, the total mass and the center of mass of the vehicle. And also finite element analysis allowed us to test, test if the car's chassis could survive the impact with the wall. The virtual model of the car was created using three different MATLAB programs. The first one was created with the objective of plotting the initial acceleration of the car. The second one models the impact taking into account the use of two strings and a button, which when pressed completely alters the function of the motor. A final program was made to model the car braking, which it did in two millimeters. In all programs, modern acceleration requires that we take into account the increasing speed of the vehicle in order to correctly adjust the forces as the torque, the drive, and the rolling resistance are defined as a function of speed. We tried to source the best quality components we could within the £30 budget. To ensure accuracy when assessing the cost of 3D printing, we used Cura to calculate the mass of filament required for our 3D printed components, including required support material. The design validation of our vehicle firstly relies on its top speed and the time needed to reach it. Using the most accurate MATLAB model, we found out that the top speed is expected as 0.1 meters per second and reached in a tenth of a second. Then the, max the maximum deceleration when hitting the wall is of 0.86 G according to this model. And finally, we found out that the longest run of eight meters should take 80.34 seconds, which is indeed lower than our 90 seconds target. Thank you very much for watching our presentation and we look forward to your questions.